Hello everyone, I am Amit Maru and today in this video we are going to discuss about Kruskal's algorithm to find the minimum spanning tree. So uh, in our last video we discussed about what is minimum spanning tree and how we can find the minimum spanning tree. So as we discussed we have basically two algorithm. One is a Prim's algorithm to find the minimum spanning tree and the second one uh, today we are going to discuss that is Kruskal's algorithm to find the minimum spanning tree. So let us start our today's video on Kruskal's algorithm to find the minimum spanning tree from any graph. First of all we will discuss a set of steps or we can say the algorithm uh, to find the minimum spanning tree. So the step number one sort all the edges in a non decreasing order of their weight. As per the Kruskal's algorithm first step is we have to arrange all the edges in ascending order. So first edge will, uh, will be the edge which has a minimum weight and the last edge will be the largest edge or we can say the edge which has a maximum weight. So sort all the edges in non decreasing or we can say in ascending order of their weight. Step number two now select the pair with minimum weight. Uh, each time and make the union of the selected edge. So every time we have to select the pair which has a minimum weight. So as we discuss in our uh, Prim's algorithm, we can choose the next edge which is the adjacent node of our already exist node. If uh, there is one node A and uh, second B is directly connected with uh, A, then and then we can choose the uh, next edge. Otherwise, we cannot choose but here in Kruskal's algorithm you can select any edge which has a minimum cost. The selected vertex should not form the circuit that we need to check every time. Step number three repeat step number one until all the vertices are getting covered. Just take one example so that you can easily understand. Suppose find a minimum spawning tree of following tree. Uh, this is the graph actually in that uh, number of uh, edges, number of nodes are there and number of cycles are there. So when we find the minimum spanning tree at that time as you know that there must not be any cycle. right? So as per the Kruskal's algorithm step number one uh, we have to select the uh, pair of uh, node or we can say the edge which has a minimum weight. So out of this all the edges we have to identify the edge which has a minimum cost. So the one is a minimum number among this all the numbers. It means that this edge has a minimum cost from this graph. So that we have to select first edge as a V0 to V2. Now here we can choose any other edge. Either it is connected with V0, V2 or it is not connected with uh, V0 and V2. Still we can select because this is the Kruskal's algorithm. In Prim's algorithm we cannot choose the edge which is not connected uh, with this both the node V0 and V2 but in Kruskal's algorithm we select any edge which has a uh, minimum weight but every time we need to check that there must not be any cycle. So let us uh, discuss how we can uh, find minimum spawning tree by using Kruskal's algorithm. So find out the edge which has a minimum cost. So V0 to V2 uh, that is the edge which has a cost 1 and uh, this cost is the minimum cost from this all the edges. So select edge V0 to V2. Now select another edge uh, which has a minimum cost. So once we check uh, uh, which edge has a minimum cost then uh, V0 to V1 has a cost 2 which is minimum. Uh, among this all the edges. So our next selected edge that is uh, V0 to V1. Now find out the edge which has a minimum cost. So this is the, the V0 to V3 has a cost 3. Another one V5 to V6 has a cost 3. Either we can select V0 to V3 or V5 to V6. But normally we will follow uh, 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 alphabetical order or uh, n a numeric uh, order uh, in ascending order. So we can select uh, V0 to V3 first. So our next selected edge that is V0 to V3 and the cost is 3. Now find out next edge uh, which has a minimum cost. So definitely V5 to 
or v6 so when we select v5 to v6 at that time this uh, graph is a disconnected graph uh, as per the prims algorithm we cannot choose uh, v5 to v6 because this both the nodes are not connected uh, with uh, this graph uh, v0 v3 v1 or v2 so as per the prims algorithm this edge cannot be selected but as per the kruskal's algorithm this edge can be selected because it has a minimum weight so in kruskal's algorithm it is it is not necessary that we can choose next node uh, which is connected with our uh, current graph so here we can choose v5 uh, to v6 which has a minimum weight that is 3 now find out next uh, age which has a minimum cost so we have two options either we can select a v3 to v5 and the cost is 3 or we can select v2 to v5 which has a cost 4 so definitely we can choose v2 to v5 because uh, as per the uh, uh, ascending order v2 is uh, first than the v3 so that we need to choose uh, this age v2 to v5 so uh, uh so now this is the graph again we uh, have still uh, one node is uh, uh, pending that is v4 so find out the edge which has a minimum weight so among this whole graph we have a two option either we can select v3 to v6 which has a five weight and uh, v6 to uh, v4 which has a cost five but we cannot choose v3 to v6 because it generates cycle it creates a cycle so we cannot choose v3 to v6 we can choose v6 to v4 so next is selected as that is v6 to v4 now we cannot connect any node when we connect v3 to v5 will generate cycle v3 to v6 will generate cycle v3 to v1 can generate cycle v3 to v4 connect uh, generate cycle so now we cannot uh, use any as uh, to add uh, in this case because it will uh, generate the cycle so this is our final minimum spawning key in that all the nodes connected uh, and this is the sub key of our uh, graph or uh, one tree and uh, once we add this all the value all the cost then the answer is 18 it is known as the total cost of minimum spawning tree Take another example, the second example uh, to find the minimum spawning tree of any graph. Suppose uh, we have one graph in that uh, different six nodes available and there are number of edges. Uh, as per the Kruskal algorithm, again we have to identify the edge which has a minimum cost. So among this all the edges, this B2, uh, B2D has a cost of 5 which is minimum among this all the edges. So select first edge that is B, B to D. So this is our first edge and the cost is 5. Find out next edge which has a minimum cost. It is not necessary that our next edge must be connected with this edge because as per the Kruskal algorithm we can select any edge which has a minimum cost but it not generate the cycle. So here are next the minimum cost edge that is a B to C. So uh, next is that we need to select that is B to 6. Find out next is which has a minimum cost. Our next is is uh, uh, C to D which has a cost 10. But here we cannot uh, select this is otherwise we will generate the cycle. So find out next no or next is which has a minimum cost. So our next is that is a B to F which has a cost 11. So now we can select B to F2. There again find out the age which has a minimum cost so f to d or d to f has a cost of 14 which is minimum uh, a minimum cost but we cannot choose this age otherwise we'll generate the cycle we'll create the cycle so ignore it and find out another uh, age which has a minimum cost so our next age that is uh, a to b or b to a which has a cost 16 so we can choose this uh, age uh, then again find out the age which has a minimum cost uh, so we have a one option that is the e to d or d to e and the cost is 18 so we can select this age then uh, again we can find uh, any uh, age uh, which has a minimum cost but uh, uh, our next option that is 19 
but uh, we cannot uh, connect A to D otherwise create the cycle. Likewise now onwards we cannot uh, uh, select any A otherwise we will generate the cycle. So here we need to stop and find out the total cost of minimum spanning tree. So it is nothing but addition of this all the cost 16 plus 11 plus 18 plus 5 plus 6 and the answer is 56. So the uh, minimum spanning tree of this graph is this one and the total cost of minimum spawning tree is 56. So uh, now uh, the time complexity of Ruskas algorithm uh, as we discussed we have to sort all the edges in ascending order. So we required uh, one uh, algorithm to sort the list of number into ascending order. So definitely the sorting algorithm the minimum time complexity of sorting algorithm is n log n. Here in this case uh, we have uh, edges and vertices so that the time complexity t of n belongs to order of e log v. So this is all about uh, Kruskal's algorithm. So thank you. Thank you very much.